Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to talk about how you can prepare for a data engineering interview. So in this comprehensive video, we are going to go over some valuable insights as well as like some strategies to really excel in your upcoming data engineering interview. So it's, it doesn't matter if you are a recent graduate or you want to switch your career in the data engineering field or if you are already a data engineer and you want a different role in a different organization. So the first thing we need to understand is the role of data engineer. So basically data engineers are the architects of the data infrastructure. So they are responsible for designing, building as well as maintaining the data pipelines which can process loads as well as transforms the data. So they are really the backbone of any data driven organizations. So you have to thoroughly go through the job description which we are going to apply. So that is really crucial because each organization is looking for a specific skill set, having some specific technologies and tools that they're going to use in their upcoming projects. So you need to really go thoroughly and learn what type of data they're handling and what is the volume of the data and what are the tools and technologies that are needed for that job role. So some organization needs a data engineer to handle like the real time data or some organization are really looking for someone who is better only at Hadoop and they know all the pieces and corners of Hadoop, which is like a great tool for batch processing. So you have to really understand what is the job responsibility of that job role. Now, once you understood the role of a data engineer, now you have to understand what are the core concepts because that are most asked in every interview. So the first one will be the data modeling in which you should know the distinctions between the relational databases, which are like SQL databases and NoSQL databases, because that is the fundamental skill every data engineer should have. And also you should know about the ETL processes. So you should know how to extract the data from different types of sources, then transform it as per the business logic as you required and then load it back so that everyone, every business user can submit a query on top of it, which makes it a great analytics platform for everyone. So the next one is you have to be proficient in some of the top technologies. So you should know really about a SQL database. So either it could be a PostgreSQL or the Oracle DB, whatever it is, you should at least know a SQL database as well as the NoSQL databases. So I hope you already know that NoSQL databases are having like three major categories. One is a document base, then the column base and the graph database. So having an expertise in any of these NoSQL databases will be a plus point for every data engineer. And also you should get familiarized with the big data technologies like the Hadoop, Spark, as well as the real time data analysis. So theory is essential, but having a hands-on experience is also a plus point. So you should like initiate your own projects, build your pipeline and also document all your progress on a GitHub repository. So show that so that you can showcase that in front of the recruiters on your resume. So the next question to boost your confidence is like conducting mock interviews. So you should ask your friend to conduct a mock interview and you can practice like technical question answering and the behavioral queries. So that will also help you in the final interview. And if your friend is having a same background, then you can get a feedback and also improve on yourself, like the communication skills, as well as your storytelling, because those skills are also important with your hands-on experience and the theoretical knowledge. And the last step is like, you have to stay current because data engineering is an ever evolving field. And there will be like lots of new technologies coming on the way and some of them will be replaced by the new ones. So you have to just look out for what is trending in the market. So there are so many things like the containerization, cloud technologies, as well as the data lakes. So you should have idea about what really are the recruiters looking for. And it is also given in the job description as well. But if it is not, but having this like basic knowledge of these new technologies will really boost your chances of getting screened in for an interview. So at last, preparing for a data engineering interview is like a perpetual learning as well as a dedication. And you have to master the fundamental concept as well as you have to stay updated and learn what are the new technologies in the world today 
as well as you have to constantly refine your skills because like for example if you learn python or sql you have to keep practicing or else you will lose touch by just learning you know one or two months you have to constantly learn and improve your skills so that it will be relevant in the future so that's all about it if you find this video helpful just subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching